Hi everyone, there is this new paper that just came out yesterday from ETA in collaboration with other universities and is regarding this art of scaling reinforcement learning compute for LLMs. So this is a huge change because reinforcement learning, fine tuning is the final and the crucial steps that unlocked all these LLM capabilities. And here we talk about uh, deep reasoning to agentic performance. So the main problem is that training LLMs is getting ridiculously expensive. So we all remember the project that DeepSeq made and they used 100,000 each, 800 GPU hours just for the reinforcement learning stage. So these compute budgets for reinforcement learning have been rapidly rising, increased more than 10 times between the frontier models like OpenAI, O1 model and O3. So this, uh, this methodology in this paper for the, this critical step has remained more art than science. So we had no predictive framework. We were essentially gambling massive compute budgets on algorithms that might hit the wall early. So this paper changes that through this massive systematic study totaling over 400,000 GPU hours, they finally established a scientific framework for this reinforcement learning scaling. To solve the unpredictability, these researchers borrowed from scaling laws, uh, but found that the standard power law wasn't right. Instead, they successfully modeled performance using this sigmoidal saturating curve. So the S-curve is ideal because it recognizes that LLM performance in reinforcement learning is bounded. So you eventually hit the ceiling. So this curve gives us a predictive equation centered on two numbers. There is number A, that is uh, the asymptote. This is the performance scaling and is the ultimate reward the model can achieve regardless of how much compu compute you throw with it. And then we have B, the compute efficiency. So this is the speed. So it determines uh, how quickly you ascend the curve. And the real magic is by fitting the curve using only low compute runs, starting around about 1.5K uh, GPU hours, and they could actually predict the model's final performance even out to 100,000 GPU hours. So this capability turns guesswork into a predictable scaling science. So guided by their new predictive tool, the team made three massive observations. So first, the reinforcement learning performance ceilings, they are not fixed. So it can be shifted by core algorithmic choices, like the type of loss function used. They also found several losses like CISPO or JSPO substantially outperform DAPO and it achieved a higher asymptotic uh, reward. And also, secondly, there was this tiny numerical detail that had a huge impact. You can see more down here at, uh, at algorithmic choices. So here they talk about the FP32 precision, which is in the final language model head layer in the logits. So this simple fix alone dramatically improved this asymptotic performance A from 0 0.52 to 0 0.61. So this is a proven ceiling breaker. And third, coming back to our feature, they found, yeah, they found that many of the common hacks like data curriculum strategies or normalization techniques, they were primarily adjusted by compute efficiency. So that's meaning that that means that only change the speed of training without shifting the ultimate ceiling A considerably. So the major finding is that when developing scalable methods, you must prioritize choices that raise the asymptotic ceiling first. By combining this ceiling raising and efficiency boosting insights, they build a definitive blueprint called Scale RL, so scalable reinforcement learning, and it's a stable asynchronous reinforcement learning method that uses the efficient pipeline um, RL8 setup. And for more about this, you can pipeline RL. You can see down here at the asynchronous reinforcement learning setup. So uh, 
This setup mandates the highly robust Cispolos alongside a critical FP32 precision fix at the logits. So pipeline RL notably improves compute efficiency over PPO of policy approaches. Scale RL, let's go back to our uh, figure down here. So scale, scale RL uh, also uses smart data management to boost efficiency. It filters prompts that contribute to no policy gradient and permanently removes prompts that are already too easy. And we can see it achieves a superior asymptotic performance of 0 0.61 and compute efficiency compared to all other tested methods, including DeepSeq, uh, Quen, Magistral, and Minimaximon. ScalarL proved its stability by running for 100,000 GPU hours with the resulting performance curve perfectly tracking the prediction made earlier in the run. This predictability generalized across multiple training axes, and the most exciting result is for larger models. So they applied scaled RL on this 70B X16 uh, mixture of expert, the Lama 4 Scout model, and the larger mixture of expert model exhibited much higher asymptotic uh, reinforcement learning performance than the 8B tense model while using only one-sixth of the reinforcement learning training compute. And this work establishes a new methodology for predicting scalability, and it allows researchers to evaluate new algorithms cost-effectively cost by forecasting their final performance from small runs. So this era is about to change, and I believe new papers will come out to continue this research. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this type of video and uh, let me know if you want me to continue in the future and please give me some feedback and like, subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Thank you.